but I kind of, if I was Monkey, I'd probably want to summon something in the middle right now. Uh, instead of just leaving my Archfiend there. Because Xiaomi's out of cards. See, yeah. if you had just Tribute summoned the Stardust and then put another monster down that lane, you'd be in a really good spot as the only player with cards currently in your hand. Uh, you need to take advantage of that situation. Though Backup Secretary would have not actually yeah with the dark resonator destroying it yeah it would have it would have went had down a clean shot at the middle mm. so perhaps pendulum summoning is not always the solution and tributing your monsters can be worth it so do you lose this oh that's what it is right you lose the scale if the monster goes away that's what it is is that how it works? So i don't is it? I, I, don't... I think you just keep the scale. I think it's just a visual. Oh, glitch, okay. But I'm I'm sure people in the chat will be like, I cannot believe these guys are so bad at the game. Don't even know how. Like, if we're wrong, they should. Cur There's gonna be someone who knows. Okay, you correct. okay. So you lose it if you pen summon once. Okay, so that's what just happened. Yeah, that's what okay. I thought. I think it's only if you pendulum summon. You keep the scale until then. Um, so like I'm saying, you could have tributed them off and then still had it. Mm. for the next time start died and then you would have been able to get that swing down the middle uh, which would be very effective right about now show me is under attack in, and had to use two very strong all the cards resources yeah exact yeah. and it is no joke that's what you play when you need at least kill one monster for sure monkey did not capitalize off that Still though, overall in a okay spot. They're in third, it looks like. Uh, and obviously, Trochuco's never gonna not have a monster here. Uh, they can just play that Gaga -Ga Magician in defense mode and block the Stardust if they want to, or maybe they'll draw a monster that can do the job better. Uh, and with Monkey's lanes clogged, again, that cohesion boost, you're not able to summon more monsters and get that going. You're just gonna have the one zone. Oh, we saw it there. Monkey switching the uh, sentry to attack. I didn't know you could see stuff like that while they're thinking. Wow, very interesting. I did not know that. Yeah, I didn't notice that either. That was I crazy. I just started. saw him do it. <laughs> that was crazy. I I'm sure you cannot see that in like an actual game. <laughs> Like, yeah, the actual duel, like you watch your opponent, yeah. like, hey, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> you can just see the monsters like dancing and attacking. <laughs> and press the button. But oh, yeah, the, true, true enough, it does go. And another pendulum scale. Mm -hmm. That I can't tell if Monkey's deck is just very well built. And the Gaga Gaga Magician. That's the fifth scale. Yeah, Gaga Magician goes at attack as well. Stardust. Gonna deal damage here. Looking like. It was at 22, yeah. And especially if that Mad Archery has, like, Curse. I feel like those have to have been in the wrong lane. Well, yeah. the idea is the Gaga Magician dies, but I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about taking this damage. Yeah, I think... Mm. But hey, I mean, they, they won all three games last time, so maybe they, they know something. Maybe they've don't. got a strat. Yeah, Duelist Alliance. Six, ten, that's Okay, check their graveyard, right? It's like every single <laughs> monster in the grave in the game. Like, they've only got two so far, ones. so they've got four, five. Yeah, they've right. got five pendulums. All they need it's is like, Odd Eyes, dude, and they're going to be... Stargazer, the tribute. Yeah. It's like, that's every monster that they've drawn. <laughs> We'll see if they can do it again next game, like... <laughs> I'm quite interested. <laughs> Wait, was Gaga actually in defense the whole time? Because he made it pretty far down that lane. Uh, Maybe wait, how did he... Plug? Oh, wait. No, he was in attack. Uh, right? Right, but it might have just been a visual glitch. Because I see a Stardust all the way at the end of the lane, and I don't What the heck? What is going on with Cross Duel? Yo, we're breaking the game, dude. <laughs> Literally. There's never been a single bug in all of Cross Duel's history. <laughs> Wait, yeah. that was... that. That's a... I hope... That's a spectator bug, but if that was a freaking bug in the game, holy crap, could you imagine? That would have been, like, massively game-changing. 
if you, if you disconnect, you can get something similar where like monsters stay on the field. Yeah. Like so, sometimes you'll see someone summon a blue eyes and then also have another monster under it. Um, I one time had a monster coming at me, so I'm like, okay, I gotta defend this, and then it just wasn't actually there, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> I guess I didn't need to use that card. What happened? Um, he summoned Gaga Magician. It seemed like he summoned it in attack, but it was actually in defense. Alright, so this turn we see it in attack again. Mm -hmm. uh, but there is a, another monster, so I'm not convinced it's in attack mode. And Monkey plays their whole hand. Look at their oh, back row. It's filled actually, up. Three spells and traps. So, actually, okay, so this time, Tertufo might actually have played it in attack this turn because yeah. the 1000 defense the other monster would have gotten through anyway. And yeah, so if Stardust. Uh, oh, but Stardust say, is gonna connect still for 100. Yeah, I feel like if you're Monkey, you actually wanted Stardust to lose here so you yeah. can get that third Pendulum Summon going. And Xiaomi does not defend the Archerine Eccentric. Monkey does find and take advantage of that empty middle lane like we were talking about. Two cards here, it's though. Really yeah, Monkey needs to draw. I, I would assume they're playing Odd Eyes. They need to come up big next turn. Two cards and get Odd Eyes. Yeah, they have both scales set up already. So if they draw anything... Uh, they'll be able to summon it and defend yeah, from dude, that and if 3K, they If they hit Shell Me, that'll be good, man. Oh, and like we... So even with uh, all this pressure coming, Tertufo might not be in last after this. Let's see, 2,500. I, I think he's Ooh. still in third. <coughs> but yeah, Monkey definitely taking a huge swing Seconds. to get into first. After this turn, there's Turfuto. So Shelmy's got monsters coming in three lanes, it looks like. So yeah, again, they... Monkey, by playing that weak 800 attack point monster, that's got to be the one Shelmy does not prioritize because the Z-Metal tank is going to have more attack if he summons any monsters or Taekwon. And Tratufo has an 1800 attack Sparkman, so you have to block against that. Plus the 1500 attack. The Mad Archfeed, yeah, Shelmy. Blew their load very, very early. Now they're running out of resources, dude. A lot of Z-Metal Tank. Not too often does the duel get to set turn 7. But you're playing Z-Metal Tank, so Shelmy is feeling that late-game attrition right now. And we will go into the battle phase 16 seconds early. Let's see. Dragon Dowser from Monkey. When his cards, they do not Pendulum Summon. Tratufo comes up big. Three summons. In turn seven, Shelmy blocking two, but like you said, cannot afford to block the middle, so they're gonna be eating 800 more damage. But Trafuto, the Resonator goes unblocked as well. Taekwon, not enough resources are running dry, and Monkey as well does is not defend. But do they have does, something? Yeah, does Monkey there? have the middle card by any chance? I would not be sure, but look, Dragon tells her is actually has a special skill, so it's going to add back. An attack support unit, right? That's what it said. Pendulum monster. Back pendulum monsters. Pendulum yeah. monsters. But, and you get to reuse the scale effect too. Though, in this game, it's not going to happen. So, yeah. If there's a mirror force face down, then monkeys chill. Like, yeah, else three you back row, bro. Three back yeah. row. It has to be something here. Like, there's no way you wouldn't play the Dragon Dowser on the Soprano, basically, unless you had something. So we know for sure something's going to pop up. I mean, even a wall of disruption alone would be pretty solid, but yeah, there's no way that this 1400 goes through, right? <laughs> yeah, it has to be something. But first, we have to fight all the regular monsters, and then we'll get to the direct attacks. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm excited to see. I a lot of people I talked to were like, "Yeah, Z Metal Tank's just gonna dominate the tournament." Uh, but I, I I thought Gaga had a good shot at it, yeah. and then I thought Blue Eyes would make it to the finals. My bet was actually on Blue Eyes. If you asked me before the tournament, I'm like, "There's gonna be a lot of Z Metal players, but the Blue Eyes will be a little bit more versatile." And what's happening is Xiaomi. I think mm. I was like, "Z Metal, three players are gonna go at them. They're not gonna have enough cards to defend." Well, look, people ask me, is there four different decks in the finals? And yes, there are. Blue Eyes, uh, Pendulum Summon, Gaga Magician, and Z-Metal Tank, dude. 
There is and four I, different decks. I'm really liking the Stardust deck. Uh, I feel like mm -hmm. people haven't. People have talked about, hey, I think Stardust with Pendulum can work, but I've never uh -oh, seen it. Oh, wait. Try Here comes the monkey attack. Uh oh, is it gonna connect? Okay, boom, shell me going down to 600, bro. And did, did it connect? No. Or, or Wh which it? one are you asking about? Uh, Soprano. Yeah, there was a hollowed life barrier. Oh, hollowed life barrier. Battle okay. damage this turn. Oh, nice. Still needs to defend it next turn if they want to nab that first place. Or, you know, they're going to summon that Stardust in defense mode, I imagine. That'll mm -hmm. deal with the Soprano even with three monsters coming out. Oh, but since you have Trap Hole, you could put it in attack if you're not afraid. Because nobody's running Horn of the Unicorn or anything currently. Um, so that extra 500 might save you from some, like, trickery if Taekwon pulls something out of his sleeve. Uh, but I'd expect Stardust in defense to block Yo. this Soprano. Okay, but attack is totally fine too. Like, mm -hmm. cause it does. It's turn eight, so keeping your monster around is not too important. But maybe that last card's fairy meteor crush or something. That, fairy meteor <laughs> crush. Like the, the one card that could stop the defense mode, you know. Whereas with attack mode, I yeah. don't think there's there are as many answers here. It looks like monkey is gonna secure first place. They will be the ones to defeat Xiaomi. All right, but it's not over yet. We do have mm. two more games after this, so anyone could come back. And yeah, I think if you said Stardust Dragon's gonna win this tournament, uh, nobody would have believed you. Yeah, well, they are looking to be the winners <laughs> of the first game. We'll see if anyone switches things up in between, though. I I guarantee tratufo has been on Gaga Magician basically every game. Show me, I think we haven't seen anything apart from the Z Metal tank. Taekwon, we saw Blue Eyes earlier. So these players might just be sticking with the same decks. Mm. One thing I do wonder is if anyone uh, decided to like toss in Shield Handler to try to deal with Blue Eyes and then put it in or out based on their dual rooms. I might yeah, just we go saw personally some... ask some people. Yeah, I wonder. I did see some Shield Handlers earlier today. I'm sure a lot of people took it out, not seeing much Blue Eyes. So uh, we may have, uh, while we were talking, missed that Soprano now has 3,800 attack. Whoa. Uh, From what? Was it a shield and sword or mask of brutality, perhaps? Yeah, shield and sword. Shield and sword. Oh, the wall, wall of, of disruption for 1,500 is exactly enough because Trapufo summoned a monster in that lane. Wow. Uh, Soprano will not be taking damage. And that's Junk or, Warrior I mean, also monkey. down to 300 there. And that means Monkey will go to a... Wait, are we all still just fighting before moving at this point? Yeah, so Monkey yeah. will be way, will be at 8,000 and inflict extra damage. Can't spill over above 8,000. And it looks like it won't make a difference this time uh, since Taekwon's low enough. But Tartufo is going down significantly in life points. But that is turn 8. Xiaomi died. The game's over by both conditions. Right. And we will head into game two soon. Okay, so Monkey. game one. Yeah, Monkey got quite... I, I don't know. I can't tell you if Monkey got lucky or if the deck's just that good. That that was a lot of pendulum scales. I, I just have never seen someone summon that many Yeah, that was a lot. But they've made it to the finals. So if they've been doing this all tournament, then it's consistent enough. <laughs> Yeah. Unsurprised decks that have not shown up as far as I can tell. Things like the Time Gazer OTK. No Neos uh, showed up today. I didn't see any Neos. Oh, that's true too. I wonder why people uh, decided against it. Maybe they were afraid, like, this is good on the ladder, but at a mm -hmm. tournament everyone might own Compulse. Or with the, with the deck swapping ability, they might think, you know, Neos could be okay, but people are going to see that and then be able to counter it easily right. game two. Whereas these other aces, maybe not. Okay, dude. So going into game two, Monkey is the leader. Now, Monkey hasn't always had a huge lead, but 
I think I, I wonder if they are trying to play different decks because we've seen Monkey play those decks with the Z Metal tank in them, so I wonder if they're just waiting for it. Yeah, I feel like uh, kind of like with the Trickstar deck, saving something for a later round or even just game three yeah. of a set and really catch people off guard and they'll misplay if they're expecting one thing and then you hit them with something else. All right, here we go. Game two of the finals. <laughs> Trick stars can just make a move you don't know and yoink a game. I mean, that's what he draw did. That one game, dude, they just secured game three with that. Yeah, well, how many snipes did they get off? Let's see. So they summoned three. They reloaded for two more. They summoned something. The oh, Cha Cha Archer went back to their yeah, hand. Yeah, it got it got and bounced. I think they had one more. Yeah. So I think seven. They got seven snipes off, and it could have been more if that Trickstar had a third slot. They could have done nine snipes for your. <laughs> uh, ridiculous bit of damage. Mm hmm. All right, so we're getting into turn one here. Let's see if everyone seems to be on the same deck. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, a lot of people summoning here. Tratufo, three monsters, Junk Synchron, Gaga Magician, and X Head Cannon. Three very powerful monsters. Junk Synchron likely has that cohesion on him. Shell me going wide as well. There's the metal tank in defense. And I saw a dark resonator in Monkey's discard pile, meaning that's mm. probably a Stardust Dragon with the double material coming out. If I could put money on it. Let's go, Stardust Dragon. Take flight. This time, only one Pendulum Scale, so likely did not put Stardust in the middle because they don't want to uh, die just yet. They want to wait another turn and try to get that Red Scale set up before Stardust goes down. Or maybe they just want to make a strong push early. Ah, uh, you know what it is? Shelmy's yeah. across from them, so they know that there's going to be a Z-Metal tank at a 50% shot of coming down their lane. Stardust Dragon right. on turn one, that deals with it. Definitely. And Monkey Strategy actually deals very well with Z Metal Tank if he were to ever come in contact with it. You mean just being able to summon Stardust Dragon twice? Yeah, <laughs> yeah just being able to. Yeah, exactly, dude. That's <laughs> great. We got Duelist Alliance coming out, so the scales are set up again. They're trying to to pendulum already, man. Pendulum again. Obviously, I don't think the Stardust is going down this turn, but... I won't. It'll take a big hit, but next yeah. turn for sure. Yeah, there, there's no way Xiaomi just lets the Stardust swing for, like, 800 damage or whatever. So I wonder what Monkey will play next turn, because if they don't Pendulum Summon, they don't want to summon any of their other actual Pendulum monsters, because they don't want to waste the scales. Yeah. Because you can't stack that, like two of the same color. Maybe, I mean, I would hope that if they are playing Odd Eyes, that they saw something else that they can summon. That's what they've been lacking. Stardust is nice, but, you know, I'm sure that they are that they are playing another powerful Pendulum monster to bring out. They just have not seen it. Maybe. It's possible that they just said Stardust comes back infinitely, so I'll just yeah. do that over I'll just get over. ready. Uh, but... I've, I'm very excited to finally get to see this deck in action. It's one I've thought about a little bit, mm -hmm. but it's one that I didn't know if it would work. I figured Pendulum Scales might be too inconsistent, uh, but Monkey needs to defend against this Gaga Magician if they oh. don't want to be taking damage. And Shelmy uh, is going to keep their Z-Metal tank in defense. Their, their, their extra summons here will let it survive the attack here from the x Cannon. Now, like I think I might have mentioned earlier, the conventional wisdom has been just summon Z Metal Tank in attack mode turn one. Yeah. But we see Xiaomi here is the only player in the finals with Z Metal Tank as their ace. They've been playing it in defense mode. A lot. A and the game that they yeah. played it in attack mode, they lost. And look at that, they dude. From Monkey. 
The, the pendulum oh, summoned Odd Eyes. He finally got it. Well, that's Blue Eyes. Oh, wait. Oh, Odd Eyes came out too? I didn't notice yeah, so that. Yeah, so let's okay. take a and look. Blue Eyes coming out. Yes, Blue Eyes. Ooh, Blue Eyes thinking. But Blue Eyes, he won't be able to get his destruction off before the destruction protection comes out from Odd Eyes, right? That is correct. So yeah. he was hoping to get a push in with Celtic Guardian, but he has to pick something else if he wants to uh, stay in the game. Obviously, can't pick the wow. Z Metal Tank. But what's the best option? Do you just blow up? You don't blow up the big draws because that's way too much of a swing towards Monkey. Like, can you interfere with the other players at all here? Maybe just the Voice Raider that's coming at him. Yeah, it yep. does have. Yeah, and that's what he's gonna take out. Damn, it's a shame, man. Master Skill Blue Eyes has to use it over there. Let's. I wanna. I want to change the camera, dude. Let me change it. Yeah, I wonder why it doesn't let you. Yeah, boom. I want to get over here. There's a lot of stuff happening on this side. This is true, yeah. So we got all three lanes having some action this turn. Yeah, Dragon that, Dowser, dude. quite strong. So we don't actually see the uh, destruction immunity on any of these cards. Yes, but we because know it's, it's not the master skill. Right? Oh, it's not the right. master skill, so he does not get the destruction protection. I completely forgot about that. Mm -hmm. You know, what are the odds? Taekwon also forgot about that. <laughs> he could have still popped the zebra and push. He could have popped a lot of stuff, come to think of it, now that I know his monster, the, the, you know, it only has a special skill. Yeah, I, mm. I, I think uh, that we may not have been the only ones to forget about this. But it's possible they just wanted their uh, Debris Dragon to be able to switch into attack mode next turn and not be facing down two monsters. Because with the shield and sword, Zany Zebra is not putting up much of a fight. Celtic Guardian mm. is going to take it out. A lot of stuff getting smashed up here, but Shelmy's Z Metal Tank going to stay in action and will not be able to survive the Sparkman next turn. Only one summon can come through for Shelmy. Monkey, on the other hand, staring down what's going to be 4,000 damage next turn over. They have to put up some crazy defenses. The Celtic Guardian only at 600. That'll be an easy first attack to block. But after that, Blue Eyes is coming knocking. So we might see... Just... But with only 600, we might just see... Uh, some kind of defender that gives him a monkey a pendulum scale. And then try to set up to get that Stardust to actually kill Blue Eyes next turn. Uh, obviously, the Zany Zebra is gone. So they might not have the greatest defense here or maybe mm. they even just summon stardust regularly it really depends on what's in their hand uh oh so we see again <laughs> the dragon dow they're switching a little bit early mm -hmm. before the confirmation and all right so it looks like i was right they go with the pendulum scale in defense mode and try to stall out for a turn but they don't have the red so I don't think they're going to be able to summon Stardust next turn very easily at all. And I do your right. Do not have a weapon. Ooh, attack supplement. That's going to go onto the Blue Eyes for sure with the backup secretary. Mm -hmm. Meaning now Blue Eyes will recover up to 1,200 attack each turn. Sheesh. Quite difficult to deal with. Because uh, it already had one. And backup secretary gives it two more. All right, I was expecting... I'm expecting that uh, Debris Dragon to go into attack mode, but it seems not. Taekwon's keeping it in defense. Yeah, I mean, it's going to have to stay I'm, uh, It's gonna have to have stay in defense for a while. I don't think it's going to be strong enough to take out. Uh, and Well, it will after two more summons, but uh, well, Taekwon will but, be... No cards left for Taekwon either, so I'm, I'm not sure what they're doing. Shield and sword oh. onto the Z-Metal tank. 1,300 attack. Shell me. Do they have a counter sorted shield? One out of 20 cards in the deck. 4Z metal tank. I don't think they have it. Oh my gosh, that's massive. Yeah, that's Whoa. Whoa. coming in with a huge push. That, huge is push. A, that is a very clutch shielded sword there. The Z metal tank. 4,000 attack will go down. And Sparkman will connect for damage here. But it looks like a lot of players are in trouble right now. Monkey yeah. has Blue Eyes staring him down. Trachufo has a 2300 attack Dragon Dowser. Shelmy has yeah. two white people pushing his lane. And Taekwon might not in the best spot to push for damage, but in the safest overall position with that Blue Eyes pushing and the ability to change that Debris Dragon to attack mode this turn, which they need to do because Mad Archfiend can pierce. So even if defense... Uh, 
it, even if it stays in defense, Taekwon would be taking damage, so switching it to attack is the play, especially now that we've seen shield and sword, so we know Tortufo's not gonna swap it back to right. the lower value. Oh man, does Monkey not play? Monkey pl did they did put down some spell and traps I saw there, but no monsters played. Shelmy brings out Blue Eyes. They're not done yet. They need to defend against the Odd Eyes. A Mad Archfiend coming for Taquan. It's going to put it behind the Blue Eyes, but let's see what Monkey puts up. Do they have that Hollow Life Barrier that they put up last turn, last game? It, it could. If it's Wall of Disruption, how much is that? Does it count all the monsters? Because there are two defense mode. Well, I guess, the, yeah, there'd be, there'd be five monsters if it counts the defense mode ones. This is gonna be massive here. Wait a second. Yeah. Wait, it this really is gonna be huge. Down. Own study bone from Xiaomi gonna special summon. Alright, that'll help them out Burst a little bit. Raider. I think that Gaga Magician might we'll still, still connect. be pushing. Yeah, we'll but still just connect. for 100, that's not too bad. You gotta see what happens when this blue eyes attacks. Monkey, what do you have face down to face? five monsters in the lanes what is gonna go down auto life All barrier right. okay the now, wall of d here would have been massive though yeah we know they're oh and in wait gain life work? gain 3k oh <laughs> so wait a second he gained that's a crazy combo Gain 3,000! And they won't take any damage. You don't have to play any cards. But man, Monkey is in trouble. Monkey, yeah. this is this is not a, a solution for this situation, unfortunately. Uh, and we know that card in their hand is Stardust Dragon. That is not enough to deal with two blue eyes, a mad archman, and a backup secretary. So after Yeah, that's three such a monsters, dude. In game one, they need to draw exactly Wall of Disruption. Wall of Disruption. <laughs> uh, Holy crap. First place the first game, too. A lot of danger of hitting zero. There's 6,000 damage on Taekwon's land. There's 6,000 damage there. And one set card was his top deck. If that's Wall of what Disruption... What card is Monkey's top deck? Wait. Wait a second. It might just be Trap Pull or something, but we shall see. Three traps <laughs> is a lot. We don't see that yeah. very often. So... <laughs> Monkey, what you got oh for Oh my god. This is going to be the <laughs> fattest Wall of D in all of Cross Duel. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like... And Xiaomi's blue eyes is now an attack. Oh, this is gonna be insane. Uh, it's uh, if it's not wall of disruption, I think Monkey just straight up loses, though, right? Yeah, I think they just lose if it's not. Oh. Okay, so we'll see. <laughs> the suspense. Oh no! What is? What is it? It's <gasps> wall of disruption! Oh my god! It topped the wall of disruption! No way! What much are they gonna lose? Oh man! Oh! oh. What? Uh, <laughs> but even with this, Monkey's still not out of it. Three attack supplements are on that blue eyes. It's going yes, it's gonna go back to 22. Holy crap! But still, that's that was insane. <laughs> Monkey just top decked three traps back to back, bro. That was insane. Uh, if this was turn eight, they'd be very happy. Exactly. Right oh my gosh. Turn eight, they would have won the game. And the blue eyes buffing up once again. How do they deal with that? I, I, at this point, is there anything they can do? They what need a to top deck. They need to draw Hip Hippo to double material summon the Stardust Dragon, uh, take 1k from uh, Shelmy's blue eyes, then hit yeah. turn 7, and then they're still not going to have enough pushes, but they'll be at 4,800 if they can do exactly that. Yeah, they need to draw Hip Hippo. Actually, That's the top deck. Uh. They, they, I don't think they can win this game, but they could come in second if they get, like, perfect draws. <sighs> this is really rough. <gasps> oh, That's no! It's... 
Oh, it's a pendulum ma magician. Oh, that might Stargazer. Actually... Wait, that might save them this turn, right? Because Wait, Stargazer's a red arrow, are... right? It's oh, red, let's go. Right? So they might actually be all right. Yeah, they, they might be good. Because all the other monsters have zero attack. So it'll block whatever, except for the blue eyes. But the blue eyes has to destroy the monster. Monkey will take 1k. And now they'll have the Stardust next turn. So this can still get them second place, I think. This is Just nuts, bro. Maybe. <laughs> it really depends on what happens with the rest of the players over this next turn. So turn six is what I consider to be like the final major turn of the game. You can't start a push at if it's later than turn six, because turn you play something turn seven, it's not going to get there until turn eight, mm. and they're just going to block it. So you need turn six is the time to be playing everything you can in attack mode, which I think, as you can see, everybody here did except for Monkey because they had no choice. So everyone's successfully building those final pushes. Tufo is going to go to any lane they can find. Shelmy's reinforcing the blue eyes. And Monkey like, is well, going to get knocked down to tying for second. Yep, and Xiaomi takes some chip damage, but that's not too bad. Because right they will now. be going up themselves, and whoa, it's a. Uh... Ooh, it might actually matter for Xiaomi, dude. That really just mattered. It was a three way oh. tie. You're right, I didn't take into account whoa. that. Whoa. Oh. So we know Stardust Dragon's coming out next turn. Monkey that's... is in trouble. They're staring down 3,000 damage from two lanes, but the double draw in turn seven is gonna have to get them through it the stardust dragon their ace can be brought out like hyla said through the pendulum summon but the remaining two cards have to be able to at least block 1200 damage and live two monster attacks monkey can still get a respectable placing as long as they they just successfully hold out i mean they're not gonna be able to push anywhere but now tratufo in the middle is also staring him down Oh, so you man. Three monsters this turn. Yeah. And you need one of them to be able to block a 2800 blue eyes or you're taking 15 from the Z metal. Oh, that's but true. Holy crap. That. So the dragon's not big enough. That attack supplement coming in clutch for Taekwon. Some people uh, tend to just run attack support on the backup secretary for the special skill. And I think that's fine in the Z metal decks, but with blue eyes like Taekwon is doing, the attack supplement is quite important mm. and has really put them back in this game monkey will end up taking some damage but they did draw the draw a trap card All right, what hopefully can it be? hopefully it can take care of the debris dragon the 2200 debris dragon and there's also some uh, big z metal 2100 on the z metal monkey yeah could be in quite some danger this round. And, but... Four monsters coming at him. <laughs> well, how many total is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine monsters currently oh advancing towards Monkey. Though the Go 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 Golem that Tufo summoned will be intercepted by Taekwon's uh, Silver Claw. I'm kind of surprised that mm. he played that one down the middle. Uh, So yeah, Monkey uh, currently set to take a big hit from the Debris Dragon, another big oh. hit from the Z-Metal, and some trip damage from the Horn Pal Silver Claw. Oh. So this trap needs to be something special, and we've already seen the Wall of Disruption. Unless, you know, they they palmed the card, slid it back in their sleeves. <laughs> yeah, baggy <laughs> sleeves did, dude. Yeah, his, his Monkey's partner's Bandit Keith, secret. Yeah. And it's the game. <laughs> So we'll oh, see man. if it's able to do anything. Monkey is getting jumped for real right now. Oh, Back up, second Teddy. And the attack goes through, which means that trap does not do anything. Yeah. On any of these big attacks coming through. I think Monkey might just be out. Because... They're going to take a huge... Next turn, they're definitely going to lose. They're going to take... Oh, no, this year they're going to lose yeah, right they're, here. They're out, they're out this yeah. round. So after... Uh, Dominating performance in the first mm. game. Monkey's going down to fourth. Well, yeah, they, they will place fourth this game, yeah. 
And then, where is Trachufo standing? Currently in second, and gaining a bunch, so I think Shelmy will end up in third, even with that 1200 yes. recovery, because everyone else is going in and swinging at Monkey too. Monkey was the bad guy here, right? Well, he plays first, so everyone accurately, you know, processed him as the threat with the most points. And some people came up huge. Taekwon, one of them especially, seeing that third, needed to, to climb in points if they wanted any hope of winning. And that should put us going into a game three tie with six yes. points each for Taekwon and Tratufo. So, and Monkey's still only one point behind, even with a fourth place finish. So it all comes down to this last game. I think Xiaomi might be out of contention, unfortunately, with only three points, even if they win. Well, it depends. If, if they win, it depends who they knock down, you know? They could, they could right. like, maybe not first, but they could get some high standing. Seven points max. You know, they'd have to, like, see Taekwon or Chifuto losing because of them. Right, so Xiaomi needs to come in first. They need one of Taekwon or Chifuto to come in fourth to also be at seven. Uh... And then, let's see. Everyone who made it to this point uh, gets a little bit of money, at least. So, yep. we, the prizing set up top four. Uh, Xiaomi will be going home with at least $5 USD. Uh, the winner gets 20 And that is what I think the rest will be competing for in this last game. Hey, they're already in game two. Uh, game three. Oh. Yeah, this is the final game. All right. This is it, guys. The first cross tool tournament. We are here in the finals now. Are you guys ready, dude? Because I'm ready. Let's put on the lit song. The sevens. Sevens theme. Okay, this is the final duel, game three. And we got into it real quick, so I don't think anyone sided in. I know, everyone's like, let's run it back, bro. Let's run it back. I can't lose. Everyone is in high gear, dude. You can feel the tension. And anyone could win. Like, these games are unpredictable. Monkey came in first, then fourth. I think Trechufo did clutch out second place both times, which, hey, that could be a winning strategy. Coming in second place three times, that's nine points. Nine points is Ooh. more than... Ooh. Very interesting here. Shell me for the first time, I think, in the tournament. Summons their Z-Metal tank and attack. They are being forced out of their comfort zone, clearly. Chafuto also going wide. Three monsters, the metal tank, Gaga, Magician, and a Silver Fang. That's going to make for some powerful monsters. Stardust Dragon coming out for Monkey as well. This is a huge turn one. No one is messing around in Taekwon. Also going wide here with some good effect monsters. No one puts up a super speed monster, but I do think Shelmy might end up claiming the middle card here because Chafuto and Taekwon are going to do battle first. Ooh, a hype turn one, dude. Ten monsters summoned. Let's see what they're gonna do in the battle phase. Yeah, so I see that Go Go Golem's gonna make Z Metal Tank quite weak. I think gonna take it down to zero. Yeah. A decent chance we see Blue Eyes come out on the second turn to blow up whatever's behind the Z Metal, but Taekwon would be really low on resources if they do that, and Xiaomi has the middle card, so counter pushing. Is gonna be tough, even yeah. if the blue eyes, because Ring of Destruction could pop it, the Dark Hole could get rid of it. A Mirror Force would be devastating if Taekwon decides to go against Xiaomi. Uh, and Monkey letting, not contesting the middle card at all, also didn't put down any Pendulum Scales, so we don't know if maybe this hand is not as good as their other ones. Yeah, I mean, they look, just, they did use the Dark Resonator Double Tribute to get out the Stardust, so. Maybe no pendulum scales. They don't want to commit them too early. Oh no. And now they're facing down two monsters because of their passive turn one. 
Let's see if they're able to defend it properly. We know Xiaomi's gonna try to buff up that Z-Metal tank, so probably three monsters coming down. Uh, Tritufo successfully got their Garaga Magician to blow up. Uh, and Taekwon is kind of being pushed right now, I guess, because that Stardust will deal with the Z-Metal tank or trade maybe at worst, I think. Mm -hmm. Like if Taekwon summons two and switches to attack with Monkey will summon monsters giving their own, giving the Stardust cohesion buffs. Uh, so we will see what, well, maybe they blue eyes the Stardust Dragon and then put the blue eyes in the Z-Metal tank lane to try to deal with that push. But no, it looks like they just go for attack mode. Triple attack support from Shelmy. This is gonna be a <laughs> bigger Z-Metal tank than we thought. Gonna be coming in at 1800, right? Trifuto uh, so also, yeah, also summoning three. Monkey, just the performer pal turn Toad. Uh, but two set cards from Monkey as well. All right, so we know they might just be stalling out, trying to say, I don't care if I get attacked directly. I'm planning mm. for this even. I've got the Enchanted Javelin, the, uh, what is it? Hollow's Life Barrier. Ooh, that's a lot of boost. Wall. Yeah, there are so many attack support monsters coming out. <laughs> So Z Metal Tank is going down this turn unless Shelmy's trap card is like reinforcements, but I highly doubt that they're running reinforcements. <laughs> uh, that's Bro, probably reinforcements a is cr would be crazy. Yeah, Shelmy did get the center card, so your force is a is a good assumption. Or maybe we see ring that two bottom knight get blown up. Yeah, by the ring. So do you Ooh. remember who got the center card in the last games? Has it made much of a difference claiming that center uh, card? Shelmy also got it last duel, but and it was Monster Reborn. Ring of Destruction right, so. will destroy the ram, but unfortunate, it's gonna just already be done with the Z Metal tank by the time it meets there. Wall yeah, of Destruction really so early from Monkey. But important. Yeah, like, it's, it's gonna. Yeah, it's gonna cut the Sparkman down to 200. So taking a little bit of damage and falling into third, it looks like. Oh, but oh, they, but they back came up. back to life. Right. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that part. So actually, in the lead at the end of it all. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> Taekwon does have that blue eyes in his hand that you can use to try to turn this around. Four cards, Probably. yeah. He has the most resources out of anyone else. Although maybe not after this turn. <laughs> yeah, show me two cards left, but they don't have they don't have to do much defending, just have to look out for the Zubaba Knight and keep the pressure on Taekwon. Taekwon's gonna have to make a tough decision here. Based on how many monsters they actually have, defending against Shelmy is actually absolutely necessary. But Shelmy, I do think that they are going to be able to blow through his defenses after just this turn. You know, the, the two monsters, I don't think it's going to be enough. And there you go, Shelmy he is going to go wide, summoning into side lanes. Big good jaws! He is going to be take out the Zubaba Knight, but will fall to the Junk Warrior. All right. Monkey putting back up the scales. Archfiend is centric. Means the pendulum is ready, but blue eyes, white the dragon is here in which lane? In the lane that Shelmy is aggressing upon. And this is a master skill blue eyes. What is it getting rid of? The Stardust, don't forget, can come back, but Type 1 does not summon in that lane. What are their plans for it? Yeah, let's see. I probably would have summoned blue eyes to block one of the others and then blow up the dragon down because it's the strongest one yeah but i mean i guess if you're expecting anyone to summon another monster in the lane to attack you it is show me so mm. having that defense ready for next turn could be useful they don't hey, they, wow they don't have any cards set they're gonna, what are they gonna do they lose that's enough damage to end them yeah 2500 Maybe damage. Cards, something crazy but what to do anything here enemy controller for sure but yeah, enemy Even controller, then. block attack. I mean, they're still going to take damage, but sheesh. If they do nothing. Yeah, it, we're not seeing anything. Doing, doing nothing is a strategy too, I guess. <laughs> That's the Yuma quote. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> 
Oh, and Tertufo is gonna oh, swing uh, yeah. into that big jaw. So Tertufo is gonna, to yeah, gonna sink in 1,400 points. Shield and sword. Shield and okay, sword. that's not good, enough. dude. No. Yeah, you, Taekwon. You I think you had to destroy the Garaga magician. Yeah. Wow, just... no, going. So close. They're gonna have 600 life points. They need to connect with Shomu's life points, but they're literally in top deck mode now. They cannot block. They're not gonna be able to block two monsters with one top deck next turn. They will go down for sure. Wall of Disruption could do it. <laughs> yeah, Wall of D could do it, yeah. But I I don't think we've seen Taekwondo. Come push! Let's go. From back, Monkey. Huh? Okay. The Dark Resonator, well, it has attack support, bro, so that's a plus 200 of all those guys again. Well, skill, since it's the SR Compulse, it does get its skill negated. Mm. But I think Tratuso is totally fine with this development. They're swinging into first place. They've got the Dark Resonator in their hand. They got pushes going in two lanes and only an Archmean Eccentric in defense in the third lane like they have a very good chance of yeah. winning this tournament real quick <sighs> 2700 junk warrior this time actually making a difference it was pretty easily dealt with in the previous games but this time tratufo finds the right time for it and shelmy switching their percentage tricks into attack position they're realizing oh my gosh Dude, I need to get some light points on Monkey. But it might be a bit too late. One turn Taekwondo too late for Shelmy, yeah. And that's another 400 attack for the Junk Warrior. Here come Blue Eyes via Pendulum Summon. What is that going to destroy? I'm curious. Let's see. Maybe just the Vice Dragon? That'll get... But if... You can get the 600, but that's not going to be enough to overtake Tortufo. Maybe you destroy Gaga Ga Magician to stop Ooh, the game from ending. Yeah. Turn. That would be. Yeah, look, because a lot of people are, did not plan for one more turn happening. Monkey is there. Are they going to extend the game here? That would be crazy. That's the, that's the only way they get in first. They have. Oh, that's not going to do Wait. It. Oh, man. Yeah, so if Monkey had destroyed. The Gaga Ga Magician could Tartufo somehow fallen. I don't think so, right? There's just yeah, nobody they still would be. Him. Yeah, he has no one. He's pushing all three of the lanes right now. Like, no way. So unfortunately, I probably wouldn't have been enough. But I think it might have still been the right play. Yeah, just to ensure you, you have more time to win, you know. Mm -hmm. Having the game end and accepting second is correct here. Yeah, yeah. I'm. Mean, yeah. I think the thing is like the the difference was just too large, right? Monkey would have to like switch his archfiend into attack, tribute something else over in order to really threaten Tritufo for first. But it's just not feasible yeah. right now. With the with it being game three, the standings they want. Yeah, with Xiaomi being third place, that's an acceptable outcome to clinch second, I think. Because mm. they needed to place above Taekwon. Right. Tatupo, and Taekwon is the one that went down, right? Yeah, that is the end. The standings are going to be, let's find out for the final game. So Xiaomi is going to get two points for that one. 